the name of my business is called One Life Training and it's all about personal training in regards to its one-on-one. -on -one. I've always been into sports. Um, I went traveling in my gap year and came back and didn't really know what I wanted to do until my father turned around and said, you need to sort yourself out. And uh, he said, why don't you go into sports? So basically I did, went into training, then looked at gyms, and then also then went into personal training. The difference between a fitness instructor and a personal trainer is a fitness instructor would be there to just make sure everyone is okay. But as far as a personal trainer is concerned, we're there to monitor them, guide them, and also give them motivation. I work out what they want from me, um, whether they want to lose weight, get fitter, um, if they want to have specific goals, if they want to climb Mount Everest. I don't have those type of people, obviously. But um, if they wanted to, I could train them for that. If they wanted to run a marathon. And then from there, I work out how we're going to achieve those goals. Basically, I've got um, know how to test people, their fitness, uh, health appraisals and things like that. And then I'll be able to diagnose a, certain, uh, a program for them. The most important thing is how you get on with that person. Face to face is the most important thing and motivating them. Um, I, as far as I'm concerned, that is the be all and end all really. Working for yourself, it is hard though, because you have to be self-disciplined um, regards to, you, know, you, you can't just switch off, you know, after when you've done that client, you know, you always have to have your mobile on and, you know, it's, it's one thing after another really. You can do an MVQ in it, yes, personal training. Um, I think nowadays, not in my days at school, but they do do PE, GCSE and A level, don't they? Uh, which I thought, which, which I think is great. But um, that is definitely the way forward if you're looking to do that, that sort of thing. I did body massage purely for um, if people wanted, after a hard training session, they wanted just to relax or something like that. Also knowing if they did have an injury, I could work with a physio and understand what muscle groups they're talking about and if they needed a massage and certain things, I'd be able to help them out in that way. So body massage was really good because I learned more about the human anatomy, more than I, I thought I would have to know. When you are starting off and wanting to be a personal trainer, experience is the most most important thing. Go and work in a gym, get a feel of meeting new people, um, get an idea of how things are working and basically get the confidence um, is, is all you need really, is how you deal with the general public. The advice I would give to anyone if they want to go into personal training like that is really, really go for it. Be really passionate and really be motivated and follow the, you know, the dream that they want to go be as successful as possible.